In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to create a transition that looks like you're flipping pages, and when you get to the last page, you actually see it animate as your video. Please look at the following example, and then we'll show you how to do this yourself. So I have my video clip on track number one, and I'm going to create a photo every second. The easy way to do that is to change my tool in the middle here of the preview screen called Seek By. So I'm going to click on that, and I'll change it from frame to second. So every time I click this, I'm going to move one second into the project, or I can use the period key on the keyboard to do the same thing. So what I want to do is make some snapshots. So now I'm at the first frame. I'm going to hold the control key down and hit the P key on the keyboard. That will give me my first photo. I'll just call it photo one and press enter. Now I'm going to move over here. I'll use the icon and I'll do control P again and I'll call it photo two. And this time I'll use the period key on the keyboard to move over and do control P, photo three, and you see the process. You can make as many as you want. I'll pause the video and make several more. At this frame, I've made photo number six, so I want to make sure I mark that. I'm going to right click and choose set a clip marker. I'll add a clip marker. I'll just make it pink so it stands out. Click on OK. So I have a marker on this frame. It'll be important in a moment. So now I have my six photos. What I need to do is stack them and put them in my project. I start with the first one on track seven. And then I'll take number two and we'll just drag them down one at a time. And three. And four. Five. And six. What I want to do at this point is make them all the same length. So I'm going to highlight these and I'll click on the time code and set them each to one second and five frames. You can make them shorter or longer. I have to do that with the last one as well. So they're all the same length. Now let's enlarge this here. OK, so we have these lengths. Now the other thing I want to do is I'm going to overlap them so they flip. And I'm going to set a keyframe on the five at the bottom and not at the top one. So I'll do the first one here. I'll double click on it. And we're going to set a position keyframe with my time marker on the left. Then we're going to go in to the last 10 seconds. So it's 105, 10, or 10 frames would be less. It'd be 125. OK, and I'm going to set a right right click do duplicate previous keyframe Then we're going to go to the very end and we'll set a keyframe by moving this I'll move it to the left the pink lines will lock up so it's perfectly horizontal the picture will stay the same and in the last 10 seconds it will slide to the left I'm clicking on OK now I want this to do this for all of these except the last one so I'm going to right click on photo one I'm going to click on Copy Keyframe Attributes. I'm going to highlight the other ones and click on Paste Keyframe Attributes. Now they all have the same attributes. Now I want to stack them and position them. This ends in 105. Highlight Photo 2. And it should start. If you notice, I have a start and end. OK, if I take 105 and I subtract 10, it's 25, so I wait till I get a start of 25, and now it's positioned where the keyframes will move. This one ends, if I look at it, at 2, and if I subtract 10 frames from 2, I get 120. So I'll go back to 120, and that's 10 frames off. Now we're going to go to the next one. This ends at 225. So it would be 215, where it starts. Make this a little bit smaller here. Then we get the fifth one. 
this one ends at uh, 320 so let's go 310 for start now I've positioned these and the last one is going to be different we didn't set any keyframes on it but it will still end a little into the other one let's see this ends at 415 so I'll subtract 10 is 405 okay so that is our 10 second gaps now I go back to my main one and when this is done playing that's when I want the video to start so what I'm going to do is go in my video click a here highlight it and go control T to split it at that place delete leave gap and we'll stick it on the end so now I have the same sequence on all of them except the last one let's see what that looks like when we go back to the beginning we'll give ourselves some more real estate to see this let's play it clip one two three four five six and then all of a sudden it becomes animated I added a frame and I added the sound to it but that's basically all you need to do to use this kind of transition in CyberLink PowerDirector